Hello lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I've lost about 50 pounds over the past few years. I have ADHD and I make videos about healthy, sustainable weight loss in this channel. But today I wanted to make a video about how I exercise since the day one when I started losing weight up until now and the mistakes I made along the way. Coming right up. Three, two, one. If you guys are new here, I'm pretty new to YouTube as well. I just started making videos about six months ago and I'm super psyched to see so many of you guys subscribing to my channel. It's really overwhelming. I wish I could get to know each and one of you, but YouTube doesn't really give me the notifications. So I would love for you guys to follow me on Instagram right here and let me know, maybe tag me if you're making any of my recipes that I linked in the description below. Make sure you tag me in your stories and on your posts and I'll make sure I'll give you guys a shout out in my next video. Thank you so much again. Let's get right into the video. If you guys have already seen this video, you already know that I've had two major weight losses. One back in 2010 and one that started in 2016. So I'm just going to go right back to 2010 and tell you how I started working out back then. I started working out at a friend's apartment, so we did a lot of cardio and abs together. And then I wanted a more convenient spot to go to, so I signed up at a gym right beside my house and I would walk to it all the time. So I started doing a lot of cardio. I started doing 20 minutes on treadmill, 20 minutes on bike, and 20 minutes on elliptical and that really helped me start losing weight because I wasn't really doing much and I was young and I started not eating at all basically I would go to bodybuildings.com and there was a really famous thing uh, that was going on and it was called the carb shock so you were supposed to shock your body and not give it carbs for a while and I felt really nauseated and nauseous and weak when I did that but I was so young and motivated that I thought that was the way to go and it did work to be honest with you guys I wouldn't really do that now because I know how dependent my body is on carbs and how much energy I need to get from carbs I just know to get more healthier carbs now and I know the timing of when I should be eating it I try to consume it around my workout but back then I didn't have all this information so I started starving myself and I started working out a lot so I started losing a lot of weight and then by the end of 2011 I started learning a little bit of weightlifting a friend of mine taught me how to do leg extension leg curl um, abductors and a little bit of a shoulder workout and arms workout so I started lifting a little bit of weights and I started doing circuits. I'm not kidding you. So I would do about 30 minutes of cardio and I would go upstairs and do circuits and then I would come back down and do weightlifting. And then at the end, it wasn't enough for me. So I would just run up the stairs and run back down. And I started losing so much weight. I was actually like about 125 pounds, I think at some point. A lot of people would come up to me and be like, how do you have so much energy? But when I think back, I feel like it's mostly my ADHD. I was so hyper-focused and excited about my goal. I wanted to lose weight so badly. I remember taking before and after pictures all the time, even though at that time it wasn't even in, people weren't really doing it on social media, but I was obsessed with my before and after pictures. And as I'm recording this, I'm really excited to go home and really dig into my older laptop and see if I can turn it on and then show some of my before after pictures right here in this video but if I find it I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see anyway so if you have ADHD and you feel like your ADHD is stopping you from doing anything you want especially weight loss make sure you watch these two videos that I've listed right here I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you know you can, how you can actually use your ADHD as your superpower Let's fast forward to 2012. I was feeling amazing. I felt really fit. I felt like I could run for hours. I was really in shape. I would tan. I looked good. I started getting a lot of attention from a lot of guys. So I'm not going to lie. It was really exciting. And that's exactly when I met my boyfriend. At the, not at the time we're still together at that time. So he was tall, he was jacked, he was popular. So I was really, really into him and I was really super excited that he even noticed me or he wanted to date me. So yeah, I remember it was like really fun time for me and I was super excited and felt really confident and vibrant. And that's why I feel like a lot of people started liking me at that time, mostly because of my energy. So we started dating and our dating started off really slow. So I would see him once or once every week or once every two weeks. And then we started hanging out a lot more. We started drinking together, partying together and then I realized he was a bodybuilder and I was eating the same calories as he was so if you would have a pizza I would have another pizza to myself and we would have ice cream after and we would have beer anyways I started feeling really unhealthy I felt like I couldn't even carry myself up the stairs I couldn't really run I was still going to the gym very 
regularly during that time but my workouts were at 60% obviously if you're not eating clean food you're not gonna have enough energy to get to your workout right but I was still doing the same routine as before but it wasn't working my weight was actually increasing exponentially and I couldn't really stop it then my boyfriend really suggested that I should learn how to do proper weightlifting he started teaching me how to squat so I remember we started going on a chair so he taught me how to sit on a chair and get up and believe it or not I couldn't even do that because my hips were not mobile my glutes weren't strong I had worked on my legs a lot but my glutes were really weak so I couldn't really get off the chair that took me a while he taught me how to do lunges properly even though my form wasn't on point but I was still able to perform the exercises and I was really excited about that so he kept on training me to a point that our apartment gym wasn't enough for us to learn even more and you know if you ever try to learn anything from your parents or your boyfriends or somebody you're close to you know that it doesn't work long time so what we started doing is that I got a trainer at the gym and she was such a beautiful young athlete and she started teaching me everything about bodybuilding she taught me how to squat deadlift chest press a lot of shoulder and arms exercises she taught me how to build muscles properly and more efficiently so I'm very very grateful for our time and it took about eight months um, up to a year that I learned and I worked out with her the only problem was that I was supposed to do abs on my own so she would always tell me to do abs on my own but when I was on my own I was so excited about the new things that I was learning I really liked squatting deadlifting and I felt like a boss so I started doing that on my own time and I really neglected abs workout so that's one of my biggest mistakes that I made and that's going to exactly lead to so many other issues that I'm gonna tell you about right now before I started telling you about all of my mistakes and what I had to deal with for the past few years I wanted to tell you how motivated I was during this phase and that was kind of good and bad for me it helped me really change the whole shape of my body it helped me become really motivated and disciplined it helped me build those habits in place so I always had a core to fall back into I never miss a workout if I'm healthy I'm always working out during the week I have at least five days to six days that I work out every single day if I'm not working out I'm walking or cleaning the house I'm doing some kind of activity so I keep my body really active and I'm really thankful for that I also remember working out at every single vacation we went on especially during the beginning of a relationship we went on a lot of trips and we made sure that we worked out in every single location and everybody would message me and be like on Instagram and be like oh you should go enjoy your vacation why are you spending it at a gym but it felt so good afterwards like working out on vacation it made us feel really incredible during our workout so we really enjoy doing that vacations for me is all about doing the things that you enjoy and explore so when you're working out in the morning you have so much energy when you eat afterwards and maybe just do a quick nap you have so much energy or let's say you're gonna go for a hike in the morning you're not gonna go work out again you know that's just gonna be your workout but if you're gonna be walking around the city and just eating ice cream what makes you feel better than doing a workout in the morning you're just gonna feel so refreshed and great so I don't see what's wrong with that so we continue doing that and we enjoyed our time together so much especially because we were both you know in the same mindset in 2018 2019 ish we moved to a new gym in this new gym I realized my form was really bad and I really needed to work on my form and I wasn't sure what the problem was then I started working with this girl who was a trainer there and she was a weightlifter and I asked her to teach me the basics of the squats the deadlifts the proper form of how to really perform these exercises perfectly right so as she was teaching me we realized that my ankles were weak my hips were not mobile so we started working on a lot of hip mobility stretches yoga balances and I started incorporating that to my daily routine so if I went to the gym for you know an hour an hour and a half I would add an extra 15 or 20 minutes at the end of my workout and I would work on my mobility I continued doing that and my progress was very very slow so I wasn't really getting anywhere with that and because I wasn't really good at those exercises I wasn't really spending a lot of time and effort on it so I wasn't really giving it my hundred percent I'm gonna be honest with you guys if you're working out for a while you get really addicted to the feeling of lifting weights and it's really hard to focus on anything else except Except for lifting weights and getting that dopamine release from that and that was my problem and that's what exactly held me back during the gym from working and focusing on what was important which was my mobility and my hip was like 
completely rotated so I had to really work on it it was urgent to a point that every couple of months even during the pandemic when I started working out at home I would get hers I would get really bad injuries that I had to work on on my shoulder on my hip glutes hamstring everything would be getting pulled at some point of my workout so it was really frustrating and I wasn't sure why this was happening then thank God to the pandemic I got to really slow down I switched my weights to lower weights and I started performing and paying more attention to performing the exercises correctly I realized that the left side of my body was completely disabled because my core wasn't developed at all I couldn't even see the left part of my abs I could see the right part but the left part was completely invisible when I did lunges I couldn't feel my um, left feet and my left hip my left side of the glute it was completely non-existential so I started working on that I started lifting without shoes I started doing a lot of one-legged exercises I started using the left side of my body a lot because I couldn't feel it at all I took off my shoes so I started doing barefoot exercises and I really really focused on the left side of my feet especially and the left side of my glutes because it was completely as I said non-existential and on top of that I started doing a ton and I mean a ton of hip mobility exercises and I can't stress enough how important it is if you have tight hips there's no way you could do legs and not get injured so I started focusing on that and I swear to god my hips were so narrow all the time and they started really stretching out and they're actually a little wider than they were before so I actually have a more womenly shape now compared to what I had before which is really awesome I'm really thankful for this pandemic because I got the time to really focus on what my body really needed. I'm so, so happy I took the time and I did this because I feel like now I have a much better knowledge about human body. I know exactly what muscles, which muscles work together, which ones are connected together, which ones you need to work on, which ones weaker. If I actually look at a body, I would know which muscle is actually weaker than the other one and which one you need to work on more so it's actually giving me a lot of knowledge about exercising one of the reasons I don't post workout videos on YouTube and Instagram is because my body is not still at 100% and I don't want other people to look at me and try to mimic my form when my form is not 100% I feel like I'm getting there and as soon as I feel like I'm happy with my form and I feel very strong and good and fit and balanced then I'm gonna start posting videos if that's something you guys are interested in let me know in the comments because I can still make some videos happen for beginners without weights and things like that so if that's something you want let me know and I can make that happen for you guys anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you thought of this video thank you so much for watching again don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok I'll see you guys there bye bye